hello everyone welcome and in this session i am going to discuss about the formation of steam the steam is formed from the water from 0 degree celsius to up to the saturated temperature and up to the superheated steam temperature and for that the analysis we are going to consider here the unit mass of the water is enclosed in the cylinder and piston arrangement <coughs> and that the weight is applied in order to maintain the uniform pressure here we can see the water is there this is a piston okay over that there is a weight and that is used for maintaining the uniform pressure over there okay here water is at 0 degree celsius then water is start heated and that reaches to the saturation temperature the saturation temperature means from at that point the water is starts converting into the uh, steam okay then that is fully saturated and that saturation temperature varies with the pressure at atmospheric pressure the saturation temperature of the water is 100 degree celsius this is at the second stage the water is saturated then further if you heat that one further if you heat then the partially the water is starts converting into a steam and here we can see the partially the steam is converted and remaining the water will be there okay that is the wet steam it is a mixture of water and the vapor that is the wet steam then if you further if you heat that water and the steam mixture then completely all the water will be converted into a steam and that at a saturation temperature at the saturation temperature only all the water will be converted into a steam that we can call as a saturated steam saturated steam further if we heat behind that saturated temperature the steam whatever is that that will be heated up to the superheated temperature okay that is called as superheated steam behind the saturated steam uh, steam if you heat that one the whatever the steam formed that we call that is a saturated uh, superheated steam and here the enthalpy is whatever are there the uh, specific volumes and enthalpy is that we are going to discuss further that one here the specific volume of the fluid that is a water it is given the specific volume of the saturated water vg it is taken this is the specific volume of the superheated steam that is a v sub we have taken that one next we are going to discuss that is a temperature enthalpy diagram okay that is temperature enthalpy diagram that is a temperature in degree celsius enthalpy we are going to take as h and here from the ice we are going to consider at minus 15 degree celsius but here our steam formation whatever is there that is starting from the 0 degree celsius to the superheated steam temperature but behind that one also the in this graph it is represented that is from the 15 degree celsius it is in the form of ice and if you start heating at uh, 15 degree celsius minus 15 degree celsius then the temperature of the ice will be gone increasing it is in the st still solid state only or ice in solid state that is a uh, specific heat of ice we can call specific heat of the ice now from the any below the 0 degree celsius temperature if it is there that is heated up to 0 degree celsius that we call call the specific heat of the ice when it reaches to the 0 degree celsius temperature that will be in the form of ice then behind this if you heat that one the ice will be start melting and that will be converts into a liquid and here the temperature remains 0 degree celsius only but its enthalpy will be increases the heat content will be increases and at 0 degree celsius only that is a to b it is a solid state b to c it is a conversion of solid to the liquid state it is taking place and this is called latent heat of fusion of ice that is the amount of heat required to convert the 1 kg of ice into a 1 kg of water that is the latent heat of fusion of ice and if we, this is the melting of ice whatever it is can go from the b to c behind this b, c point if you start heating that is temperature of the water will be gone increasing but it is in the state of liquid only liquid state only. and that will be at atmospheric pressure that is at 0 degree celsius the water will be there and that reaches a 100 degree celsius 
there is a saturation temperature at atmospheric pressure and whatever the amount of heat we are going to add to heat from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius that can be called as sensible heat of water the sensible heat of water whatever it is there it is the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of the water 1 kg of water from 0 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius that is the sensible heat of the water then behind this one that is after the saturation temperature of the water reached if you further if you heat that one the water starts boiling the conversion into a steam this is the d to e whatever is there this is the conversion of the liquid water into the vapor that is a vaporization is taking place that is is a latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization whatever is there it is the amount of heat required to convert 1 kg of water at saturation temperature to the 1 kg of vapor at saturation temperature that is the latent heat of vaporization that is here completely the water will be converted into steam at E point this is the saturated steam that is the saturated steam at E point and further if you uh, heat it further if you heat it that is the saturated steam ok it will start in the vapor state only it will be there ok that will be vapor state its enthalpy uh, its enthalpy will be increasing its heat content will be increasing up to the superheated temperature at any temp up to any temperature we can heat it ok but here there is a limit of that whatever the heating is there up to that one we can heat it ok that is the heat of superheat if we add any amount of heat behind the saturated steam ok that will be the heat of superheat and here whatever the amount of uh, that uh, enthalpy or heat we are going to add that will be represented here ok this is the for the ice only this is the total heat of water that is up to the from the ice point at 15 degree celsius to the uh, 0 degree celsius water whatever is that that is the total heat of water then here this is the total heat of dry steam from 0 degree celsius of the water to the up to the saturated temperature of the steam whatever the amount of heat we are going to add that is the total heat of dry steam you can call then from 0 degree celsius to up to the superheated steam temperature the whatever the amount of heat we are going to add that is the total heat of superheated steam and behind that saturated uh, steam only whatever the amount of, of heat we are going to add that is a heat of superheat or a superheat only we can call this is how we can explain that one how the uh, water from the 0 degree celsius to up to the superheated temperature the steam power machine is taking place ok that steam is used for the different applications that is the, it contains the energy in it in the form of enthalpy or heat ok that's why the steam power machine is very important concern to the energy conversion Thank you for watching and subscribe my channel as a Dr. K. Makoli and once again thank you.